<sighs> good luck indeed, good luck indeed, good luck indeed. Last episode we got this thing, it's our Resident Evil 2, I'm Outwars 857, welcome back. Here we go. You tell I'm not with it fully. Recruit Rebecca Chambers photo. Don't be filed. Now we got a little bit we can do. I'm gonna keep the herb on me. I'm gonna keep the key on me. I'm gonna put the grenade launcher away for now. I'm also gonna take out the bow gun. I'm gonna put the ink ribbon back. I'll also carry the cold single action army. Why, you'll see soon. The cold single action army is basically a handgun. It literally is. And yeah, Diamond Key goes here. By the way, speedrunners have said that Claire and Leon run faster under caution in some games. As well as other characters. So... I might just be playing at their level. Yeah, Plastic Bomb. All I need now is to destroy the wall between... Uh, let me try this again. So I need to destroy the wall between the helicopter and the room is a detonator. Well, you know what? I'm going to drop off some stuff and I'm going to examine this key. Shape of a diamond. Neat. Now, I am going to drop off the diamond key because I don't need it at the moment. I'm also going to drop off anything else I don't need. Why? Look at my inventory. So we'll walk around with a less chunk inventory. There will be a solution to this later. I promise you I'll get something to solve this later. Somebody is just in the fog this week. Let's see, equip the bow gun. The bow gun, like I said, is uh, is kind of, uh, but at the same time, it's kind of good. The problem with it is that it fires in three shot bursts, so if I get close to you, and all three hit, you take them out at one. Otherwise, it takes you two. Notice how fast I was able to take that second zombie out. And notice I'm already down to nine shots. This room changes if Marvin's alive. I am carrying my shots. You got six left on. Get off. Mm. All right, I used up that. I'm going to equip the Colt and I'll show you the difference. Wow, you're supposed to really stay down. Well, either way, it's dead. Like, he is done. Here's a, plus, here's a detonator for the plastic explosives. Yay! Memo to Leon, which was in part A, so we're going to skip that. I'll take the handgun. 
Now we're over 100 ammo. Yay! Lock this door. Now we got another travel point. The goal is before I um, I had to escape the police station to have quick escape routes. Because unlike part A, part B has two points where they can nail you. Now I am kind of bad on health. Hmm. I'll use the full green in a sec. I'll get this out. Get it back with that. Get the key out. Put that back. Mm. I like the setup. I'm saving the green red for when I get a blue. But to be honest, I think I might want to use my health soon. So I have gotten rather beat up, but at the same time, I'm only under yellow caution, getting close to orange. And this room does have a surprise in it. Does he get rid of the diamond key? It could be a real shame if something broke the window and surprised us. Right? I'm out of here. I got the two items. I'm really out of here now! See ya. Yeah, grab the first A spray second. I left the cord there in the A run, but apparently the cord doesn't appear in the B run, which kind of nullified strategy. Oops. But it's fine. I don't need it. What the cord would have done is I could have blocked off any shutter and any shutter would stay locked in part two. I really should have thought about that, to be honest. That's why this run is half baked and mostly baked. More like it. Yeah, mostly baked. Like I said, it needed a little more time in the oven because I keep making mistakes that, well, minor, but not too bad. Well, at least I'm telling you what to do, so in case you get there. Well, as you're going to see, I'm going to adapt into the cannon run. That's going to be a lot cleaner. Oh, I got enough. Let's, get to, let's just put that in. So, I'll put the first aid spray in, I'll put the herb in, swap the herb. Plastic bomb comes out, detonator comes out, grenade launcher goes back in, here's a bow gun case. Yep. Wow, 
Well. Oh. Oh, you have to use them separately. No, you use them together. Combining off it works, and yeah, we just blew open a hole. Which leads us to a completely new area. A very interesting new area. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I thought you were another one of those zombies. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her, but I failed. Miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. And to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. But no longer. Please, I'd really like to be alone now. Wow. That was something. Well, we can go to this corridor. Which isn't the way we came in. We can go in here. Like we're not alone. Like I feel like there's something in here with us. Hmm. Anyone in here? Anything at all? Anyone or anything? Well, there is a secretary's diary B. As I was training up the chief's room, he burst through the door with a furious look on his face. It's only been two months since I started working here. But that's the second time I've seen him like this. The last time was when I bumped into that statue. Only this time he looked even more agitated than ever. I seriously thought for a moment that he was going to hurt me. June 15th, I finally discovered what, was, what Chief has been hiding all along. He finds out that I know my life will be in serious danger. It's getting late already. I decided to keep, I'm just going to have to take this one day at a time. Wow. Wait, let me go! Easy, easy there, I'm not a zombie! You're safe now. <laughs> My name's Claire, what's yours? Sherry, do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant, near the city limits. 
the chemical plant, then what are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right, but it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me. What was that? That's what I was telling you about. It's here. Sherry, wait. She ain't the brightest tool in the box, is she? Oh, well, I'll take the handgun. Yeah. Yes, we are loaded on ammo. But that's all that was here, was a little girl, some ammo, and a file. But what the hell was that noise? Chief? Hmm. Wonder where you went. No, I could just take off, is it? The body's gone. Hey, a precinct key. The heart key. Nice. this chief's diary it's all over those imbeciles from umbrella have finally done it despite all their promises they ruined my town soon the streets will be infested with zombies i began to think that i may have been infected myself i'll kill everyone in town if this turns out to be true i was successful in spreading confusion among the police as planned i made sure that no one from the outside would come to help with the delays in police actions, no one will have the chance to escape my city alive. I've seen to it personally that all escape routes from inside the precinct have been cut off as well. There are several survivors still attempting to escape through the lower levels, but I'll make sure no one gets out. I've had a change of heart about the remaining survivors inside the precinct. I decided to hunt them down myself. I shot Ed in the back through the heart less than an hour ago. I watched him writhe and pain upon the floor in a pool of his own blood. The expression on his face was quite positively exquisite. He died his eyes wide open, staring up at me. It was beautiful. I wonder if the mayor's daughter is still alive. I let her escape so I could enjoy hunting her down later. I'm going to enjoy my new trophy. Yes, frozen forever in the pose I chose to, I choose to give her. He's gone. F nuts. Hmm. Push the button. Ah. The sacrifice dies by Claw the Jaguar. And the blood forms a serpent that poisons the earth. An eagle glistens bathed in blood. And the gateway of doom will open. Yep. Know how we had that puzzle with Leon with the chess pieces? That's her variation. So, went through the wrong door. I hate this place for that one reason. It's very easy to take the wrong exit if you're not paying full attention or cannot really see completely or it gets stuck but yeah lovely so with the heart key in hand we get more locations Yeah, 
this is the way I want to go. There we go. Like, literally, there's a lot of places to go still. Next episode, we are going to continue on and find our way forward. After that really creepy moment we just had. But yeah, not too bad. It's a little exciting for this episode. Yeah, I'm getting the episode here. I hope you have fun. And I'll see you on the next one. See you then. Thank <laughs> you.